Hey, y'all. Welcome, welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we're doing another part of Hatoful Boyfriend. We're going to do, be doing um, Angle Higre, I think is how you say his name. We're going to be doing his route. So here we go. Let's go. Um, we tried to do this before. It didn't work out. We're doing it for real this time. Okay, so we're going to enter our name. There we go. Yes, that is okay. Yes, we want to display the human portraits. It's human brains inside the birds. Holy fuck, that's what's going on. That's why his brain, because it's actually a enhanced bird brain instead of human brains inside the birds, because there's not humans anymore. Oh my god. That's what's going on in this game. It just hit me. It just hit me. Between what we learned in Shu's storyline and the brothers' storylines and then Okasan's storyline just now. He's got a different god because he's actually a bird. And he's a smart bird and he's trying to start his own religion. Damn. Seems crazy. <clears throat> Super crazy. Okay, we're just trying to get to the end of this from the first place because Angel even doesn't. Yeah. Oh, she'll come on water. Oh, that's what it is too. We're just going to get in front of me and we're supposed to study math. Um. Yeah, we're just studying math and we have wisdom. Wait, we've seen all these things so we can like do a lot of fast work. I'm in front of me. We're going to attend to math. Okay. And we're supposed to meet in the desk. We've done that before and choose root. Okay, so it's almost so relaxing. Oh, this is still not going to be different. So, Kazuki. Yeah, it's still not different. <clears throat> math. And this is going to be first aid tent. First aid tent. Did this on both Ju and Yuta's roots. Oh, this is right? No, Yuya. Yuya. In terms, doing better, doing math. I feel like I'm shining. We're going to go to the infirmary. Okay, this is just, this is basically very much like Ju's roots. We're going to do, hear your voice. Okay, this really is matching Ju's roots. We're going to attend. Now. Manakata. Okay. Okay, here we go. The mad love of a fallen angel. I wish for the mad love of a fallen angel. Oh, hello. Is that you, Terry? Mr. Nanaki, you should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know? I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? I don't. I think I was doing closer to Ryota's voice. Anyway, we're going to say no thank you. No thank you. I still have some errands to run. Oh, well, don't stay out too late. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Now... On 713, we're going to have something different. Math class. Yep, yep, yep. I was able to go to the cafeteria. Want to come with me? Okay, I heard they expanded the menu and I want to try it sometime. Uh, they have massacred ramen now. Is that like half dead fried rice? Is this different or is this Ryota's root? It feels like it was part of Ryota's root. Probably. And Oko. Uh oh. What? What's going on? I turn around to see a short dove standing behind me, his chest stained a deep red. You were. You are the one who called forth this disaster. The one who invoked the bawd terrace of the blue sky. I have no idea. The, the blood, you're bleeding. Your chest. You are. Ryota, I don't think he understands Japanese. We have to go get him to the infirmary. Oh, don't worry. Look closely. He isn't hurt at all. What? But the blood. He's a Luzon from the class next to ours. Their plumage just looks like that. What? Really? Correct. I am Higure Engel. Fallen servant of God, stained with the blood of sin. There he is. Okay. This impressively upholstered bird is Higure Angle. He's in the class next to ours, so he must be another sophomore. That's an odd name. I wonder if he came from overseas, like Sakuya. His Japanese name is kind of strange, too. Yeah, it's weird. Ah, 
The corruption spreads faster than I expected. I had hoped to find it before it came this far. Sleeping servant of the heavens. Yes? Um, he's talking to me, right? Time is slipping by. Judgment draws ever nearer. We must find the truth by the light of the red moon. Ugh! I must last a little longer. Be silent, crimson breast. You're hurt, aren't you? Do not touch me. Farewell. The del bow of the blue sky. Fate decrees that we shall meet again. He's gone. What was that about? I think you picked up a weird one, Karen. Mm, let's eat lunch. Okay. It's too hot. I'm gonna melt. Oh, this is new too. Okay, so I guess it's new from here out. Pathetic, Terry. As expected of a mere mammal. Aren't you uncomfortable? Oh, <laughs> aren't you uncomfortable too? I thought doves fared badly in the heat. Letting your weakness show in front of others is the mark of the vulgar class. Mm, maybe I should take a leaf out of your book. The red eye of the demon led me here. You summon me once more, Apostle of the Blue Sky? Him again? Who is this? I think he's named Angle. He's the class eccentric next door. <laughs> Another peasant. None of you have the right to even be in the school. Go back to the Philippines and bang some coconuts together, why don't you? Oh my god, Safi, that's really, that's really gross. Sounds kind of racist. <laughs> Luzon bleeding hearts are from the Philippines? That would be why they're called Luzon bleeding hearts. The Philippines have bananas, right? Now I want to call him Banana Man. No, don't you be like that too, gosh. Incidentally, Sakuya is about as unhinged as Angel, so maybe I should be friends. I guess I should just say his name Angel, because I think it's supposed to be like Angel. I have no business with you, hollowed magician of light. Apostle of the blue sky. Yes? Do you not remember who I am? Um... Let's see, what am I... Is this 713? A fallen angel. Do you be a fallen angel escaped from the demonic prison of Judica? What? How did I know that? You awoken at last, Apostle Edubal. We have but little time left. You must decide. Will you cross swords with me on the promised ground, or... Ugh! No, not now. I Angel? He flies away down the corridor in spite of my protests. What a busy bird. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Yes, I'm do I know. I'm doing better because I did math. Okay. Okay, last day of the semester. I'm gonna go return the books I borrowed from the library. Hello, Angel. He appeared like the Christmas star, descending from the heavens. Edelbla of the blue sky, I'm about to open a gate to the other world. What will you do? A gate to the other world? You mean... He stares intently towards the end of the hallway. The infirmary? In your disguise, Edelbla. Sense a powerful evil magic inside. No doubt the tree of blight, Rufa, has taken root within. Left alone, it will soon swallow the entire school. We must stop it now. I wonder how Dr. Uwamane would react to an eccentric Filipino breaking down his door. Um. Okay. The time has not yet come. The time has not yet come, Prince and Abel Adjudica. Hmm? Is that true, Edelblau? Indeed, my demonic red eye... Oh, that's still his line. Indeed, my demonic red eye feels no more than Perhaps it would be wise to wait and observe for a while. That's probably a good idea. The doctor doesn't take kindly to roughhousing, I think. Okay, all right, all right, okay. It's easy to follow practice, okay, it's time. time. Okay, this is weird to talk. So, not only is there a sign of the religion, there's also a kind of religion connected to me, as well as this other legs were discovered. So that's weird. In addition to, like, the experiments that Dr. Wanda is doing. But you all see other guys. Okay. Yep. Summer festival. Okay, can we invite the angel? We can invite the angel, yes. The appointed time and place, but angel is nowhere to be seen. He said he'd come, but is he going to stand me up anyway? Lao. This is the right time, isn't it? Is my phone's clock off? Lao. Maybe I should go ahead by myself. 
said Bill Blau. What? I can hear him, but where is he? Angel, is that you? I am here, Edelblau. A wild angel appeared. <laughs> you scared me. Shh. He frantically glances about. A lower demon of Baal. I can still feel its presence. It lurks nearby, Edelblau. Fighting evil again, angel. You have but just awakened. It is too soon to bring you into battle. This. He hands me... Oh, what is this? A charm? Hmm. This will protect you from the forces of witchcraft. We shall leave this place nonetheless. You're right. Come on. Let's go to the festival. I'm so focused on the goddamn festival. <laughs> Instead of asking him questions. He is still as high strung as a violin. Maybe he's not used to crowds? Is this your first time coming to a summer festival, Angel? I was born beneath the Star of Solitude. I am not allowed these pleasures. Don't tell me you don't have any friends. Huh? An Aviskeller of Chaos. Why here? Why now? He's staring agitatedly at a stand selling cheap toys and trinkets. Um, that looks like a normal booth to me. When the chaotic rings of... Blah, 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 blah. His lines are hard to say. When the chaotic wings of the Reaper appear on this earth, the echoes of the end shall be heard across the land. Little Blau, you must undergo training. It is easy to lose track of your exercise re regimen during vacation. And so Angel and I enjoy the festival in our own special way. Okay. Okay, oh, this is a... I hope slept. No, I didn't. I never heard from the glory, so... Yep, yep. Okay, this is fun over the summer. You know this. Let's click past it. Tell you what pops up. Second term. The semester has a lot of events. The cultural festival is coming up already. We're planning to do a cafe, but we haven't decided on the theme yet. Huh? Oh, student ID card. Agashi, okay. Oh, wait, it's different. Ugh. What's going on, Angel? You must not. You must not say forbidden name. It shall open Pandora's gate and bring about the end of all things. He's one of the experimented students. That's why he's so fucked up. Huh? This ID card's owner is going to cause the end of the world. And what is Pandora's cage? Angle, are you actually Akka? Ah! Edelblau, seek you to torture this servant of God. You must not speak the name of angels. You must not sing songs about the names of angels. You must not say it. Perhaps my wish was not granted. Oh no, now he's sad. Um... Okay. I can't accept the contract or Yosh... Oh. Accept the contract. Accept the contract offered to you, fool. Well, what? You cannot have forgotten Edelblau. You, the angel of fire who drove me from this world and imprisoned me in an eternal cage of ice. Are you saying you will join me? You're not alone, angel. Yes. Very well. We shall seal the contract on this ground, Edelblau. Bleeding, as it is eternal. Angel scribbles some sort of indecipherable symbols or script on the ID card and smiles happily. This shall be proof of our alliance. Keep it with you. Huh? Oh, he places the ID card in my hand and strides away. Why do I have to carry this around for you? Why do I? Take it back, Angel. Take it back. Okay, elective day. Almost forgot we were doing these. Math class. Okay, let's fast forward. Yes. Lunchtime! The cafeteria switches to the full menu today, right? I wonder what they have. What was his voice? Is Karen here? Yuya! What's this? Usually I'm the one looking for you. Are you finally being drawn in by my sexy and gradual style? Exactly. Your bountiful allure stands out from afar, drawing me ever near. Like a guiding Polaris, smelling of udon. But that's not why I came here to talk to you about. That was his voice. Huh? Yuya lifts Angel up by the nape of his neck and holds him out towards me. What are you two doing together? Do not feel Edelblau. This man is not our foe. Um, what exactly? Well, I was going to clean up the infirmary and... Ugh! The demonic blight goes stronger with each passing day. When? When will the time for action come? Hey, you! What's up? Huh? You. Be you a fiend of darkness spawned from the deep pits of Erebus? 
Well, I may be a little bit of a creature of the night, but I wouldn't exactly call myself a fiend, nah. My proper title would be the Midnight Rose. Or something like that. I see it now, an apostle of the Violet Rose. Forgive my suspicions. Demons lurk behind every corner, friend. Apostle of the Violet Rose? Sounds like a dashing masked hero in some shoujo manga. Suits me just fine. That aside, I'd advise you not to go in there. If you value your life anyway. Warnings from those who follow the Violet Rose are heeded well by all but fools and dead men. The doctor works here all night sometimes. His concentration is admirable, but it does take a toll on his patients. If somebody were to barge in while he was in the middle of something, well, let's just say it would be a pity if that mark on your chest got any larger, you know? Would the Dark Magician be so cruel? But we must seal him away immediately. No, stop. I told you, man. Going in there is suicide. Yeah, Midnight Rose is really fucking cool. I love that you is part of this plot. And he kept trying to go in anyway, so I picked him up and hauled him away. Okay? I wouldn't call it okay, Yuya. Why are you bringing him to me? He said you were his friend. I thought it wise to report these discoveries to you, Edelblau. Anyway, that's what this was all about. I'll let you take it from here, mon ami. Adieu. Yuya, wait! Why do I have to babysit Angel? Um... Well, let's go get lunch, Angel. Huh? I don't mind, but are you sure? Being seen with me may put your soul at risk, Edelblau. Whatever. Break is almost over, so let's hurry. Hey, Jed, how's it going? This plot, this uh, particular route of Hatoful Boyfriend is somehow the weirdest yet. You're just in time. Today is a school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work tomorrow, so I have the day off. I guess I'll go look around. Isn't there a manga club here? I wonder if they're doing a zine or something for the festival. I think I'll go look. Okay, so this is definitely new. What seekest thou, Edelblau? Angel, are you a member of the manga club then? Indeed, this is my weapon. Angel produces a mapping pen with a dramatic flourish. Wow, that looks like it would hurt if you got poked. It is stained many a day with the gore of fiends and fo a friend and foe alike. Are you sure it's not just that you're careless and end up stabbing yourself a lot? <gasps> My scarlet breast stirs. No. Why now? I shall leave this to you, Edelblau. I must go. In other words, it's your turn to run the stand and you want me to do it for you. Um. Yeah, oof indeed, Jed. Oof indeed. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm supposed to do what I must. I guess I do run the stand for him. Do what must be done, Crimson Angel of Judica. I sh I follow the covenant of my blood to the end. Ha! He nimbly leaps over a stack of books and runs off into the courtyard. It's not like I have anything better to do, so I'll take a shift for him. Even though I'm not part of the club and I don't really know what they're supposed to be doing. But okay, sure. <laughs> ah! I handed him my recorder instead of my math homework. What do I do? Is Mr. Nanaki still in the staff room? I think I've seen this scene. Is it the same? Let's see. I'm just going to click through it. So far, I'm seeing the same thing. Does it matter? Oh, I'm supposed to side with Kazuki. Okay. We've sided with Kazuki before, so this is okay. We've seen this part. I guess this is an anti-shoe route. Lunch was good today. You can always rely on school food. Huh? Isn't that... Angel? Shh. Angel beckons to me, completely visible despite his obvious attempts to conceal himself. Do you not sense the quickening, Edelblau? Quickening? The demon spores swarm with alarming intensity. They come from there. He's looking at... Still going on about the infirmary, huh? I have told you that it is merely a facade, Edelblau. The tree of blight, Rufa. Yes, it is an incubator of absolute... That makes even less sense. Why is a fallen angel stressing over an infirmary anyway? The entire school will be swallowed by the demon's force if we do not act. Were that to happen, my crimson breast would run, run wild once more. It might even... I'm not sure why, but it seems like he's planning to hurt me. Scum! Vagabond! 
Little do you know that the Terry family tradition is to kill first and ask questions later. <laughs> but the root of all evil, the Dark Sorcerer, is not here at present. Must plan my attack. Rest easy until then, Edelblau. Fascinating YouTube poll. How different prefectures make school lunches. Yeah, school lunches in other countries are apparently awesome. We don't really get good ones in the US, and I think the UK doesn't get good ones either. <clears throat> With that, he returned to his classroom. It looks like a normal infirmary to me. Is something really going to happen? We, we did choose plot, so we know that infirmary ain't fucking normal. It's not normal in there. Okay, we know this. All right, finals. Yes, we're doing good on finals, we know. And Saki is very surprised. I don't know anything about Malaysia school lunches, though. I've never seen those, so I have to Google that. I assume they have really good ones like Japan. It's Christmas Eve. Okay, so we've seen this before. Is there any Christmas stuff? Oh, somebody's here. Coming. This is different. There's no one there. I could have sworn I heard the doorbell. Maybe it was a prank. There's a little bag at my feet with a note. To Edel Blau, Apostle of the Heavens. It must be from Angel. Inside, a crucifix? Oh, and a letter. Let's see. Judgment draws near. Let us meet at the promised place, the Crimson Angel of Judica. If you're going to ask me out, can't you at least say when and where? <laughs> she's so, she's so like willing to like give this, this angel bird the benefit of the doubt. The sun. Yay. First day of new year. Okay. There's a lot of birds here. Okay. Am I supposed to choose a, okay. I'm supposed to choose fulfillment and conquest. Click through to that. See if there's any differences. Fulfillment and conquest. Click it. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. This is all the same. Okay, this is the same. Java blessing. New blessing. Okay, yep. I always get a better one than you. Huh? Over by the office, isn't that? Ah, the emotion stirring in the crimson breast. Has the time of judgment come already, O oh Lord? I understand that you're upset, but holding up the line... Angel appears to be having some sort of breakdown at the amulet stall. Oh, Karen, good timing. Angel couldn't decide which to get, and now he's hysterical. I'm gonna get my pay docked for selling slowly. I need to get him out of line, but... Looks like I can get, I get to be Angel's babysitter. Who could have known? <laughs> ah, thank Red you so Red Bull may Jen. give you thank wings, you so but Hatoful gives you birds. <laughs> uh, we'll do a um, we'll do a pin for you uh, when we're done with this route. We'll add it to the curtain. Thank you so much. What's wrong, Angel? Do you know of the infinite possibilities of this universe, Edelblau? Infinite possibilities. Present is a single point in the vast cosmic sea of time. I place myself under the protection of the wise kingfisher, or the guiding pearl, or I must decide which one will most likely aid me in the. How about traffic safety? You strike me as the type to fly out into the road and get hit by a car, Angel. Traffic safety is good. Ryota, can you give us a traffic safety charm? <laughs> He's taking this so seriously, poor Angel. Here you go. Thanks, Garen. And so I paid for the amulet and dragged Angel out of the choked up line. You lifted the mighty burden of decision from my shoulders, Edelblau. Yep, don't worry about it. Here's your amulet. Don't use it. Don't lose it. <laughs> I thank you. Ride me well, O wondrous pearl. And so Angel took off into the trees, clutching his traffic safety amulet. I wonder if he'll remember to look both ways. I hope so. If he has an amulet specifically about traffic safety, he should. Okay, it's Happy New Year. Is there anything to do? Doubt there's anything to do until the beans. Let's click through, make sure we don't miss any angel scenes. Third term. Okay, it's bean time. Yeah, bean time. Bean time, excellent. Wraithwall, welcome back, welcome back. Happy to see you again today. Yeah, I hope he's safe, too. I mean, his name is Angel, so something's going on there. He assumed the amulet would take care of those things. <gasps> Jed, stop it. That's too real. That probably was what he did. he's going to do. Okay, anyway, we choose bitter black beans for our angel boy. I'll take these. Okay. 
let's see. Let's see what's going on with Mr. Angel. Today is the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbirdie. Angel's in class too, right? I wonder if he's still in the classroom. Angel, are you in here? Yep. Hi, Angel. I have something to give you. Quiet, Edelblau. We are in grave danger. Huh? Angel pulls me from the room and runs into the hallway as if fleeing from something. Do not call on me in that room, Edelblau, for a terrible evil lurks within. Well, not that terrible, but there is a risk that I could be cursed if others were to learn of our connection. In other words, the other boys in your class would make fun of you for having a girlfriend. Sorry, Angel, I wasn't thinking. It's Legulaman times today. Do you want me my beans? Oh, Angel's a girl. I did not know. I thought he was a more feminine boy. But she's a girl. I'm sorry, Angel, I had no idea. These are... A change comes over him. Wait, no. Huh? I'm very confused. Maybe he means... Because he just said... He, anyway, maybe he means that people will make fun of him for having a girlfriend, and I just read it wrong. <laughs> Black Belladonna. What's going on? Uh, get this out of my body, and I won't let, sh let you use it as you please. These beans are evil at Ublau of the blue sky. They look like normal black beans to me. Indeed. Have no fear, I shall destroy them now. He opens the package and dumps the contents on his beak. Are you okay? How do I hime like a pigeon? Don't worry about me. Escape while you can, Edelblau. Maybe he's a little young for black beans. What? My second year is almost over. It's been a long year. I've gotten involved with a Filipino, a banana man, an eccentric fallen angel. Huh? Yeah, he's all of these things. There's a letter in my desk. The time has come. Meet me at Rufa, the Tree of Blight, Crimson Angel of Judica. It is time for the eccentric Filipino banana man. Is he planning to break into the infirmary? The doctor being what he is, I'm worried for Angel. I better hurry. Oh, are you Filipino, Wraithfall? Apparently this character is Filipino. It's literally a tree of blight. What the fuck? Did I go into the wrong room? No, I'm sure this is the infirmary. But this place is like nothing that belongs in a school. Of course Angel was right this whole time. Of course he wasn't lying or making it up. Because this game is fucking bonkers. It is time to end this dark sorcerer of Wallenstein. I have waited for you, Crimson Angel of Judica. Waited from the very beginning. The Tree of Blight has fed on the flesh and blood of the innocent and has opened the gate to the Dark Sheol. We stand at the very border between this world and the next. And so you have appeared, lured here by the taint of Sheol leaking through, just as planned. And so your plan has been to swallow the school into the abyss all along. Too bad. I shall not allow the tree to reach maturity. Ho 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 ho. Please do not misunderstand. I have no intention of bringing the end with this wooden toy. No, what I want is your accursed flesh, angel of hell. I am... Oh, this is Shoes Line still. I am Wallenstein. You must agree that this is a fitting name for the Dark King. Come at me, evil spirit. Ah! Angel! A black miasma fled from his chest and is swallowed by the tree. What are you doing, Doctor? This is cruel. You should know reincarnation out of Blau. The apostle who sealed the crimson angel of Judica. This stuff holds within him the avatar of destruction. An avatar of destruction? Have you forgotten, Edelblau? That day, long ago, in the time of gods and demons, when you took up the sword to end my rampage. I have drawn out the power you sealed in the breast of the forbidden my... my <laughs> I don't know if I can say that word in shoes, boys. Montoyana. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the tree of blight has consumed both the students of the school and the mindless power of the crimson devil. Welcome to the end. Arise, Himenea, bringer of death. No, it's over. It's all over. The world will be swallowed by darkness. You can't give up, Angel. It'll blow. Have you forgotten, Angel? I still have that ID card with the weird squiggles you drew. We still have hope. All you have to do is to kill the final boss thingy, right? We stand together, Angel. I never thought this day would come when we two would join in battle once more. 
I had not the courage to face down my evil half. But you, take this Edelblau. This is the mapping pen. Sacrome, the Holy Spear, is yours to wield. Come. Amnesia, bringer of death, appeared. Angel used Dark Void Shockwave. Oh my god. Amnesia takes 24 damage. <laughs> Karen's turn. Um. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're in a relationship with a Filipino. Oh, but you're Burmese. Okay, I understand what you were saying before, Ray. Sorry, I just now look back at chat. Oh, thank you so much, Ray. Thank you, thank you. I'm trying to get better at doing voices in these games since we play so many like RPGs that don't have voice acting in them and things like that. Okay, anyway, we're supposed to choose Eye of Judgment. Okay, Eye of Judgment. Karen uses Eye of Judgment. Hymnasia takes 360 damage. Himnasia and Lisa's Obliteration Blade. Karen takes 215 damage. Angel uses Blood Lotus Cremation. Himnasia takes 68 damage. I guess my vitality is it is because it seems my vitality is going down. Karen's turn. Maybe this is why I have so much vitality. Okay, we're supposed to choose this one. Non Non Chin Kisum, I guess is how you say that. Karen uses no ninchi kisum. I don't know. I'm sorry. Maybe it's I don't know how to pronounce Filipino. I assume that's some kind of Filip it's a Filipino word or something. Hymnasia takes 432 damage. Hymnasia unleashes obliteration blade. I guess he's just going to use obliteration blade over and over. 240 damage. Angel uses crimson, crimson seraph chain. Hymnasia takes 54 damage. Okay, it's my turn again. Okay, we're supposed to use this one. Law him and flight. Karen uses Blah him and flight. Hymnasia takes 540 damage. Hymnasia's defeated. No, Hymnasia was destroyed? You miscalculated, Wallenstein. You did not account for Edo Blah's presence here. Bah! I must withdraw! Do not forget. I shall summon a second Hymnasia and a third until the world is torn apart by their thirst for blood. Wait, Wallenstein. And so our adventures ended as suddenly as, be as they began. We never saw the doctor at the school again. Heck. Angel, I remembered everything. I remember your fall and I remember chasing after you to try to bring you back. And you remember skewering me with Saikaram, imprisoning me in the cage of ice? Yes. I do not resent you. I had lost myself and was but a demon of blood destroying all in my path. But the demon is gone now. Oh, but the demon is gone now. Yes. I think you can live normally now, Angel. Angel, I... No. I hope we can stay together like this, Yoshio. Ah! He huddles in the corner, wailing in anguish. Anguish. I guess that rule is still in effect. I wonder when he'll let me use his real name. Never if it hurts him. I guess that's like his dead name or something. That was crazy, you guys. Holy cannoli. My mind is blown. Okay. To the end of emptiness, ending number 11. Oh my good gracious. Okay. Wow. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's say goodbye. Let's stop the recording for the, the YouTube, um, clip of this game. So we'll say goodbye to them. All right. So for you guys watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.